you've not lost your senses. This is not a fish. We'll get to that in a minute. This is clay being turned into a pitcher by nationally recognized potter Richard Peeler. He and his wife Marge work out of their shop designing, producing, and selling pottery and ceramics. You can see their creations everywhere around their home, which is a story in itself, a rammed earth house which the Peelers built themselves in the 50s. Well, we've had visitors from 27 foreign countries in every state in the Union to come visit our pottery. And there's more than pottery. Children, for example, can fiddle with the Peelers' so-called percussion contraption. Can you play a song on this, Marge? No. <laughs> play a song, just makes noise. Now, on their patio, there's a small pond where visitors can delight in feeding the goldfish. Come on, fish, let's go. But the real attraction can be found in a five-foot by two-foot deep concrete pond, home to five fish who jump through a hoop. Okay, come on, fellas. Good jump now. Up and through. Here we go. <laughs> good jump. Good jump. Who was that? That was Orca. I Orca, think. huh? Yeah, I uh, Orca. really... Uh, there's Orca and Shamu yeah. and uh, Killer and Splash and Russell. Now, how'd you get these fish to jump through a hoop, Richard? Well, I've always wanted to work with dolphins, and I realized that in the state of Indiana, there wasn't much opportunity for that. And these are common, ordinary, well, these fish, they wouldn't like to be called common and ordinary, but they're, they are uh, sunfish. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, hey. That was a good one. It takes Peeler about two weeks to train his jumping fish, but there's more to it than a tasty worm. Well, the fish, you see, this is a religious experience for them, really. Uh, they think I'm God. Ah, but even the gods are compelled to show their appreciation for the jumping fish of Putnam County. I'm Ray Rice, Wish TV News 8, on special assignment.